Just wish by gliding Free as birds you see them gliding Animal lovers, best of friends They'll always lend a hand Here come Bibi and Tina I'm Amadeus and Sabrina They're riding with flair <laughs> Wind in their hair Friendship never ends Friendship never ends <laughs> Check in on the beavers. Okay, that's a great idea. Off to the river. Mr. Beaver found a stick. Oh, yeah. He's so helpful. He's not doing all the work, though. It's a team effort. That's for sure. <laughs> Are you ready to get going? Yeah, they must be waiting for us. I've circled areas on the map where you'll most likely spot wildlife or their habitats. I'll have you start on this side of the forest, then you can make your way to the clearing in the middle. Sounds great. Are we supposed to find every animal that lives here? No. <laughs> we just need a sample. From that, we can easily calculate how many of each animal lives in the park. Uh, we have to use math? Hey, don't you worry. Let me handle that. So what's this for? For keeping track of your count. Every time you see one of the species on the list, add a mark beside it. OK, we can do that. Sure. Yep. Stick to your route. Bruno and I will be taking care of things in the other half of the forest. Huh. Right, Bruno? It <laughs> seems like he'd rather stay with Sabrina. <laughs> Bruno, we have to get going. Ah, uh, who's a good boy then? Oh, and look out for signs of human interference. Like? Well, littering and damage to park property have increased in the past few days. So keep your eyes peeled for me. Yes, of course. That way. OK. Oh, wow. I think that's an anthill. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're saying hello. <laughs> Five. Look. Got him. Look at this. Oh, could it be the wind? It had to be a person. Most likely. How could this have happened? Three little ones. Got it. Oh, the piglets are so cute. Hmm. Hmm. You know what isn't cute, though? Well, who do we have here? Hello. <laughs> One fox. Then we heard this noise, so we looked around, and we saw a woodpecker. Mm-hmm. The park sure is full of amazing creatures. And counting them is so much fun. Would you like to do it again next year? Yes, please. But we did see human interference. A nesting box was upside down. And there was plenty of trash lying around in the clearing. It's getting worse every day. <sighs> I used to spot a candy wrapper once in a blue moon. Today, I found a broken step on a tower ladder. Who do you think is behind all of this? I don't know, but I'll have to find out. How would the three of you feel about helping me track down the culprits? Sign us up. Tomorrow morning, okay? At the Beaver Lodge? You haven't even seen the babies yet, Alex. They're adorable. Oh, really? Yes, they are. You can count them all tomorrow. We'll meet up there. I'll tidy up. No, I'll take care of it, Tina. You should head home before it gets dark. Oh, I know how much you want to race right now, Amadeus. But we're going to take it easy. <gasps> Tina! What is it? Looks like a fire near the Beaver Lodge. Pick up the pace, Sabrina. You too, Amadeus. There's no time to waste. Huh? Huh. What do you guys think you're doing? You can't have a campfire here. Oh, huh? We're being careful. You girls need to chill out. You've got no idea, do you? Oh, no. Bebe. Hey, dudes, over here. 
Check out my boat. Hey, watch where you're steering that thing. Oh. Weird place for a pile of sticks. Hey, what's up? You three are breaking the rules. First off, campfires aren't allowed. And now, to make things worse, you wrecked a beaver lodge. Uh, what's a beaver lodge? You don't know that? Looks like a five-year-old made that lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Those beavers should go back to building school. <laughs> <laughs> Think you're so funny, huh? Eeny, meeny, float, drop into your boats. Eeny, meeny, stay at bay, watercraft now sail away. Win, win! Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, 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 oh. Well, we better clean up their mess. The fire's easy, but what about the beaver lodge? Can't you fix it with your magic? No. There's a special set of spells for wild animal homes, and I haven't learned them yet. <gasps> Mr. Beaver's here. We should go. Let's give him some space. I hope he can put it back together. Oh, he looks really upset. I wish there was a way we could help. Maybe there is. I smell smoke. Did you two see a fire? Yeah, there were three boys. Come look at the damage they did. Oh, it's certainly oh. seen better days, but you shouldn't be trying to fix it yourself. Why not? That'd be interfering with nature. If the beavers want to stay, they'll have to rebuild it on their what own. What if they don't? Well, that's up to them. If I were in their place, I think I'd look for a new location. How come? It's clearly too exposed here. Hang on, the beavers can't leave. Yeah, this is where they belong. Hmm. Well, it's quite short, but that side stream would be a good location. Yeah, it's quiet, tucked away, perfect for a new launch. Plus, it's close to their old one. It sure is. Like you said, it's a bit too short. It's a shame we can't extend it. Why can't we? We'd be interfering with nature, and we can't do that. I know, but sometimes we can give nature a little nudge. There's someone else coming. I'll handle him. No, let me. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please keep your distance. There's a beaver lodge. Oh, thanks for letting me know. The boat rental place never mentioned it. Of course. Right. Enjoy the park. I will. Hmm. Wait a second. What rental place? My father leased a piece of his land for it to open. He thought it was a good way to bring in more tourists. Ah, that explains all the litter and damage we've been seeing lately. The tourists go rent their boat, then litter, start fires, wreck habitats. That does make sense. I think we cracked the case, detectives. We're not done. We need to shut that place down. Whoa, easy. Their customers just need to follow the rules of the park. Why don't you talk to the owner and tell him what's going on? All right. Have fun. Thank you. Be safe. Oh, we're busy today. Mr. Murray at your service. Welcome to my boat rental. Hello. My name's Bibi. This is Tina and Alex. Hello. Pleasure. Um, we wanted to let you know there's a beaver lodge nearby. Next to a sandbank. And your customers should really stay away. I couldn't agree more. Can't go around bothering the wildlife. Oh, aren't you a beauty? <laughs> If we scare off all the animals, I'll be out of business. I'll talk to the boaters. Thanks. Is there anything else I should tell them besides keeping their distance? You could ask them not to litter in the forest. <gasps> they do that? Yes, sir. And three boys lit a fire on the riverbank for a barbecue. Oh, no, is that true? They could burn down the park and my shop with it's it. It's so dangerous. From this point on, we have a new policy. Nobody gets out of their boats until they get back here, of course. <sighs> Nick, come outside. Who? My son. You in a hurry? I want to show him your horse. Nick! This is Bibi, Tina, and Alex. Want to pet their horses? Mm, mm -mm. Guess that's a no then. <sighs> He's been acting up since we moved here. He misses the city. But I'll turn him around. Falkenstein is an exciting place to be. Couldn't agree more. Well, we better get going. Nice to meet you, Mr. Murray. You take care. You too. Keep in touch. He's such a nice guy. Let's hope his customers listen to him. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they will. I should find Forrester Greenfinch and tell him how our talk went. Great idea. Think the beavers are rebuilding right now? We could go check this afternoon. OK, I'm off. We'll see you later. I'm really worried they might not stay, Tina. I understand. Come on. There might be something we can do. Did you hear that? 
Let's follow her. <laughs> We've been over this already. So? I still want to go back home. But this is our home. <sighs> I know you'll get <sighs> used to it. It's super boring here. What am I supposed to do all day? You know, the countryside can be way more fun than the city. No, it isn't, Dad. That's not true. Mm. Nick, please, just give it a chance. <sighs> um, what are you looking for, exactly? This old thing. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, a plow. How did you come up with that idea, Tina? <laughs> Who knows? I was just brainstorming ways of extending that little stream. We'll dig it out with horsepower. Now that's a nudge nature won't miss. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now is a harness. <laughs> so, who wants to help us on our mission? <laughs> I think we have a volunteer. Hey, Max, come here, nice and slow. I can send the plow over with my magic. Sure. Eeny, meeny, disappear, by the river, reappear. Whiz, whiz. Looks good. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who would do that? Huh? Hello? Hey, is someone there? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> A baseball cap, huh? Whoever stepped on the anthill must have dropped it. <laughs> we'll take a look around. Maybe they're still close by. Hopefully, the beavers are starting to rebuild. Yeah, hopefully. <gasps> it's in worse shape than before. Yeah, it's in ruins. Do you think they'll even bother trying to fix it? Not a chance. But if we hurry up, they might move to our spot. Let's get to work. Steady. That's it, Max. <laughs> You're a natural. <clears throat> OK, get ready for the turn. Go! Nice and wide now. There. That's just enough clearance. Whoa! Well, you've been busy. Just like a beaver. <laughs> I'm guessing you're extending the stream. Can I help? Sure. We're trying to hurry. You won't believe what happened to the old lodge. It's as though someone took a chunk out of it. An anthill I saw looked the same way. What? Yep. Looked like someone walked over it. I found this nearby. My theory is, whoever lost this did it. Hey, that's my hat. Nick? <gasps> Wait! Get back here! After him! Come on! Nick? We've looked everywhere. Well, any luck? No. <laughs> hey, Maharaja, what is it? He must hear something. <gasps> <gasps> Tina, what's that on the ground? It's a stick from the Beaver Lodge. Hold on. I haven't been anywhere near a lodge. Don't lie to us. We can see the teeth marks. Where else could you have gotten these? I found them in a pile in the river. Uh, it's the truth. I promise. You don't know what a Beaver Lodge looks like, do you? Nope. Well, what about an anthill, then? It's a mound of earth about knee-high. Remember stepping on anything like that? Um... I definitely tripped on this big heap of dirt, but I didn't see any ants. Nick, what are you doing? Oh, do you want one? No, but the wrapper. You can't just drop it on the ground. We've seen these before. Bet you like milk chocolate, don't you? Yeah, of course. How did you guess that? We found some of your trash yesterday. There's no garbage can around here. Oh, are you mad at me? No, but... Do you know how much trouble you've been causing? I didn't mean to. Hmm, guess that doesn't matter. We'll make things right. You just need a nature lesson. Whoa, really? Hmm. How did they even fit? They don't anymore. It's a lot smaller than it used to be. Oh, so what are they up to? They're extending that little stream. 
It'd be a great spot for a new lodge, much safer. Yeah, it's kind of out of the way. And too shallow for boats, I bet. Exactly. Hey, have you ever seen a beaver before? Mm-mm. Oh, that's what they look like? They're so cute. Yeah, good to know they're still around. Want to come tell Tina and Alex? Amazing work today, Max. <laughs> Guess what? We just saw the beavers. Yeah, and they were this big. <laughs> That's great. We'll have to finish this up tomorrow. Hope they can wait till then. <laughs> Hi. Aw. He likes you, Nick. <laughs> you should really come by Tina's family farm sometime. Evie. You could meet Max's twin brother. Sound fun? Oh, uh, yeah. Or, I mean, maybe. <laughs> well, look who's here. <laughs> I think he's asking you to walk him back to the stable. Really? <laughs> Hold on, can we talk? The Martin's farm is super easy to find. Follow the trail all the way down. Then when you come to a fork in the road, take a left. Kate, I got it. All right, we'll see you soon. <laughs> and Max, you're in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Nick's never taken care of a horse. He's a city kid. That's true. And so he should learn how. Still, he shouldn't be on his own. I'll keep an eye on him. He'll be fine, I promise. Okay, BB. We'll see you back at the farm. That reminds me. There was this park by my house where I used to meet my friends. Well, my old house. And we would always go on adventures. Kind of like we are right now. You should have seen how gentle he was. That's great, but I still don't totally trust him. He's new to all this. Shh, here he comes. Welcome to the farm, Nick. Everything go okay? Yeah. Max didn't give me any trouble. Glad to hear it. Want to give this a try? No. Um, not tonight. Thanks, though. Who wants candy? <laughs> I sure do. Me too. Hmm, I'll take your wrappers. I should get going now, but I'll see you all around soon. Good night. Sleep tight. Swing by whenever you want. Bye. He does seem a little different. And that was just after one walk. Imagine what he could be like in a couple of days. Try to give him a chance. Okay, at least he's not littering anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> I really hope the beavers are still there tomorrow. Me too, BB. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Should I hit the light? I'll get it. <laughs> Good morning, Hubert. <gasps> BB, quick! The barn door is wide open. What? I'm sure I closed it. <sighs> oh. Hello. Good morning. Nick, what are you doing here so early? It's seven o'clock. Oh, well, I'm brushing the ponies. Was I not supposed to? Oh, you're upset. No, you did go home last night, though, didn't you? Of course. Ha! But then I made my dad promise he would give me a ride on his way to work. Oh. Huh. I didn't mean to surprise you, but Bibi said swing by whenever. <laughs> well, he's got you there. We're happy to have you. We need some help finishing up the stream extension. Want to give us a hand? Yeah, for sure. Oh, still no sign of them. Huh. Hopefully they haven't moved on yet. Hi, ladies. There you are. All ready to flood the new channel for the beavers? Yeah. Well, this should be exciting. Good morning. Hi, Alex. Ahoy. Hello. This is Nick. He helped us yesterday, too. Wow, nice job. Thanks. You really think the beavers will move in? We'll find out. We have to let them do their thing. All right. Who's ready to flood the channel? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Let's let nature take its course. We can come back another time. Have a front door. Tina, get dressed and come down. Hurry, quick. I'll get Alex and Forrester Greenfinch. Oh, where are we meeting? By the river. Be really quiet. 
No problem. Are the animals even up yet? <sighs> Look. <laughs> Hand me the sign, Nick. Here you go. Perfect. Nick finished his book on beavers last night, and it gave him a great idea. Tell them. I'm going to show tourists the new beaver lodge. Explain how it's built, how they live there. I'll teach them to be super quiet and to stay back. Huh. <laughs> Did you know beavers are the second largest rodents in the world? That's right, after capybaras. You don't say. If you keep that up, maybe you could become a park forester. Don't you think you'd be good? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Really? Wow. Huh? That bark means tourists. Uh, time to show the beavers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for everything you've done for Nick. You know, I've never seen him this excited. I think he's going to be happy here. And I've noticed our litter problem is gone. Coincidence? So, Bebe, it sounds like our work is done. You wouldn't happen to be interested in a race now, would you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> faster, faster! You too, Amadeus! Woohoo! Hang on! Wait up! Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>